Hey guys, we're back with another pocket jip video, and this is just to make up for the lack of videos recently. As you can see behind my pocket jip, I do have my Bluetooth speaker, and that was because I was going to try and set this up. But it seems that uh, it will not set up with the um, pocket home version of, with the desktop version of pocket jip. Uh, I can't seem to pair it, so you may hear it bleep when it switches off. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't pair for some reason. So if we log in, and you're going to want to install Kodi, someone on the forums has kindly already put up a tutorial on how to get TV on your pocket chip through a Kodi add-on. Today I'm not going to be using that because that uses something called Zatu. You have to set up an account, and once you set up an account, you only get access to a limited amount of channels. If you're like me and you live in the UK, this is for Freeview, so you're going to get BBC channels and uh, Channel 4, etc. Obviously, just for uh, purposes of this video, you will need a TV license to watch these. Um, and if you have one of those, then great, you can continue with this. So once you go into computer things and you've installed Kodi, Kodi will actually appear down here in uh, Kodi Media Center. Now one thing I want to point out, if all grey is watching this video as well as the previous one, Kodi does work with a keyboard in here and with the arrow buttons on the pocket chip, but if I access Kodi on the... Uh, on the pocket chip version of the OS, I cannot use my keyboard or the keys, I have to use the mouse. I'm not sure what's going on there, maybe that can be rectified. So uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to go into System, and you want to go down, um, I'm going to use the mouse now anyway, into File Manager, um, which is there, and we're going to want to press OK. And what we're going to do is add a source. This is usually where you add most of your add-ons in Kodi. You have to add a source, and um, once you've done that, you can usually then install from a repository. You can see that some things do update in Kodi automatically. Um, and once we double click, we can add a source, and in this top bar here, which hopefully you can see, um, we're going to want to type in HTTP and then semicolon then forward slash forward slash TV streamers dot net forward slash repo there we go it's turned off forward slash TV guides and uh, that is what you want to put in there. In uh, click done, and then in this this bottom bit here, you can just type in uh, free view. I like everything to be labeled properly, and then we press done, and then we press OK. If you haven't typed it correctly, it will not uh, go to this bit. It will actually come up with cannot access repository. Uh, then you've typed it incorrectly, so just check that if that pops up. So once we've done that, we just want to press on the back button here, and then we're going to go to System again, go down into uh, Settings, and then go to Add-ons, and then click OK. Once we're uh, Add-ons, this screen will come up if it's your first run. Uh, we then OK that and go to Install from Zip File, and we're going to want to go into that Free View zip file that we just created. And in here there will be a list of items, a list of plugins etc etc. Uh, we're going to want to look in, there's a plugin Colossus, but uh, I think we're going to want to go to repository TV guides. So if we carry on going down, maybe it's further up. Yeah, because there's Colossus, there's Colossus, there's Primeval, there's TV Guides right there, so just below that. And then we're going to want to go onto that and click OK. And it should install something. This little bit in the bottom corner here will pop up. That means it's installed the repository we need to access to be able to download the next part of the add-on. So we're going to go to Install from Repository, and then we'll go to TV Guide. And if we go down to video add-ons, 
And in here you can see we've got a few video add-ons like BBC iPlayer, Find My Game. But we want to click on, we got ITV as well, but we want to click on Freeview. And click OK. And then click Install. So once that's done, it'll download and it'll say enabled in the bottom here. And uh, unfortunately, as I said, I couldn't get the Bluetooth speaker working, so we won't be able to hear the sound. Uh, you will need a good internet connection for this as well, as you're technically streaming the Freeview channels. So bear that in mind. But if we go into videos and we go into video add-ons, we can see that Freeview is here now, so we can click on it. And once we've clicked on it, it will actually give us the full range of UK Freeview channels to stream, or at least it should do. So uh, you've got live TV and you've got catch up TV, so if we click on live TV And you can see that we have uh, every single Freeview channel available. Some of these streams may or may not work at any given time, as they're not updated by myself. Um, some of them essentially should work. Um, but we've actually just... have we just froze? <laughs> How embarrassing. I think the bucket chip has just decided to freeze on me. So, uh, bear with me while I take a look at this. Also note that these streams are usually IP address verified, so um, for example if you live in the US or you live in um, China you may need a VPN to access UK channels and um, this is also a reason why I'm not showing how to get um, US channels because you may need a VPN to get those as well. Um, but as you can see, we have a huge list here, and if we just go to BBC News, the HD ones don't really work too well, because obviously the um, the chip doesn't have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you're best off with the standard, and also you've not really got a HD screen, so there's no no, re no real point in, in uh, trying a HD stream anyway. If we click on to BBC News, and we'll, we'll only be able to show a couple of seconds of this due to copyright, um, it should open up the stream and uh, there you go so it streams relatively well of course but uh, that is how you stream UK TV channels um, the best way to view TV though is definitely on catch up because there isn't so much having to gather information as often if you know what I mean there's a buffer involved so you'll be able to access your channels, like uh, let's say drama for instance, um, and it will buffer that video before it plays it to begin with, so you'll always end up with a smoother stream and less stops. And as you can see we have a number of catch-up items in here too. So that is just a way to get free view on your pocket chip if you live in the UK. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the like button, if you didn't hit the dislike button, and as always guys I shall see you very soon with another one. Cheers.